Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified and today we'll see the if and else statement used in C Sharp. So we'll see that how we can use this statement and what are the importance of this statement. Now first about the if statement. We can just use the if statement to check any condition. Right? We say that you know if this is right then I will do that or if that's if that is right do that. So this is to check that whether the condition matches or not and based on the condition that whether this matches or not I want to do something. So that is if operator, right? So like let's say if I have defined three variables where x equal to 10, y equal to 20 and z equals to 30. Now we are checking that if x is less than y then we'll say just if x is lesser than y, right? This is my if statement. Now it could happen that this condition is not matching. So we can also check that if this condition is not matching then what to do. So that part we do in else condition. So we have the another part which is used if and else, right? So let's say if this condition is matching x less than y, so we say x is less than y. This is just a, a print statement, but in actual you we want to basically do a, some operations on that one if this condition matches. So if this condition matches, then do this operation if this condition doesn't matches then do this operation so like if i say that hey if my friend comes to the party then only i will go to the party otherwise i want to go to the party so this is like else condition if if this condition matches do this else do this right now we can have the multiple conditions as well so in that case also we need to apply the multiple if and else so how we do that let's say this one and so I'm checking if x is greater than y, so I'd, I'll say x is greater than y. If x else, let's say if it is not the case, so I will check, okay, x is not greater than y. Then if x greater than z, so it says, if, if this is the true, so I'll write x is greater than z. But if not, if x is not greater than y and not greater than z as well, so I'll put that x is lesser than both y and z, right? So this is how basically I have put the if and else condition multiple times, right? So yeah, that was all about the if and else conditions used in C Sharp. And in our next video, we'll see that how we can use the switch statement when we have the multiple if and conditions. So uh, thanks for watching this video. And if you have any doubts, please write in the comment section. We'll try to explain that. So if you have liked the video, please like it and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thank you.